jury found Elijah Toure guilty on 13 counts, including first-degree murder in the death of Karina Meal. The prosecutor said Torre broke into Meal's apartment, bound her, and sexually assaulted her. He then stabbed her and took her car and debit card and used it around the city. Meal was working on an art exhibit at George Washington University. She spent three years as an art instructor at the Cincinnati Art Academy, and she graduated from UC's DAP program. I can audition up to 500 girls, 500, 600 girls in the year and only come home with five, maximum 10, 12. Ladies and gentlemen, let us take you on a journey through a parallel universe, somewhere between reality and imagination. Let's wander through the history and present times of the most famous review theater of all times and take a look at the secret world behind the curtains of this most legendary of all cabarets. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the heart of the Moulin Rouge. The Moulin Rouge started and the Can Can started as a, a shout. When they shout, they shout, a scream for a little bit more freedom and liberty for women. Police say the Raleigh man randomly picked his victim and subjected her to a violent, torturous attack. The woman was kidnapped, raped, and beaten. She took multiple blows to the head and was strangled. The victim was found with significant bruising to the neck and a bloody nose. According to the arrest warrant, police say Reese repeatedly struck the woman in the face with an open hand and used both thumbs to push forcefully onto her throat, restricting her breathing. The 41-year-old also allegedly stole her cell phone. He has been several times over the last few years. We found nine mugs shots. Previous charges on his record include child abuse, larceny, breaking and entering. He's seen in this shot with a neck brace after being arrested for simple assault.